Welcome back to Face It Net. It's been quite some time since I released the last video. Today, I'm going to release, I'm going to work on a video to show you guys how to install and configure VMware ESXi 6.0. I know the 7.0 version is released and there are quite a big changes on 6.7 to 7.0. But before we go to 6.7 to 7.0, I'm going to start showing you guys how to install 6.7. Once it's done, I'll prepare another video to show you how to install 7.0. 7.0 has pre-requests like it has got a storage recommend. It has got a huge storage recommend to set up. Uh, it stores some set temporary files. They call it as OS files. So it needs more storage. So let's not to go there for 7.0 right now. Focus on 6.7 and then we'll move to 7.0 so for me to start i'm going to first create a virtual machine in my vmware workstation so this is my workstation i'm creating a virtual machine to install 7.6.7 all right and it stores here i'm going to store that in 40 gb of course i'm going to customize the ram size to maybe 8 gb uh, maybe let me increase to 16 gb so that i can have multiple virtual machines later on so the storage here i have given it's only for the operating system 40 gb but i will add this second data store where i will store all my virtual machines so this doesn't need to be a big storage size this can be a small storage size this is only to store and keep the vmware esxi operating system file so 40 gb is more than good enough so let's finish that's it so virtual machine is here i'm going to install right it's installing now so let's start the installation so it's going to ready it's going to install let me get it full screen close that so now my esxi is installing right so as you can see it's loading the esxi installer once it's done it will complete the installation so let's wait a couple of seconds here it might take about five to ten minutes to complete the installation once the installation is done we will go into the web interface and see how we can set up this and how we can access and what's there in vmware esxi 6.7 right so let's hold on here until we complete the installation then we will move on to the next part So as you can see this got two processors with 16 gb ram so this kind of i'm expecting this virtual machine will run quite faster um there you go so enter to continue f11 to accept and continue right so now just scanning the available devices right so it got 40 gb storage device enter to continue and us default this is what your default username password or you call it as a root username password um, this will be your password to log into your vSphere uh, web interface to manage it right so now hit enter or oh sorry f11 to install the application on this virtual machine right so now it's installing so once it's completed it will provide you an ip address Right, because my virtual machine is in mac configuration if you look at it um, this virtual machine is in mac settings if you go here uh, settings it's in NAT, so it's going to receive an ip address uh, from my vmware NAT configuration or vmware dhcp services so i should be able to connect to that ip address from my physical computer or from my host machine so Keep in mind, I'm installing the type one virtualization in type two network, right? Or type two environment. Uh, ESXi is a type one virtual or uh, hypervisor. You need to install this type one hypervisor on a physical device, but I cannot uninstall or I cannot wipe out everything on my local computer and install a new uh, hypervisor. So what I'm doing is I'm installing this on a type two uh, virtual machine. So I'm using VMware Workstation. VMware Workstation is a type 2 virtualization or it's type 2 hypervisor. So I'm using the type 2 hypervisor to install the type 1 virtual machine or type 1 hypervisor. All right. So keep in mind, 
in type 2 hypervisor i'm installing a type 1 hypervisor so within the type 1 hypervisor i'm going to install multiple virtual machine or i'm going to create multiple virtual machines later on right so let's do that as a second task but first we are installing esxi 6.7 and the installation is pretty much completed you can see here it's almost done right and we should see now they should give you an ip to zone as you can see 192.168.200.129 that's come from the dhcp server so what i can do i can now open a web browser right and i can type in in the web browser that specific ip address right so what i'm going to do i'm going to take a web browser which is coming from my local computer right and I'm going to type in the IP address 192.168.200.129 and hit enter. Right? That's okay. I'm going to proceed because there is no certificate services. That's why it's the warning. And I'm going to put the username root and the password we just entered while we installed the virtual machine. There you go. It's completed. And I can see now I am in the VMware ESXi web services so this is my VMware web services right uh, or this is the management portal right where you can manage all your ESXi services so host machine which is my 6.7 uh, VMware ESXi 6.7 right and so you can see the version is 6.7 right uptime just zero and it's used only 1.7 GB RAM and it's used 1.4 GB storage. Remember, I've created with 40 GB storage. If in case if you go to the storage, you can see it's free that and provisioned almost that much. So the total capacity we have it's around 32 gig, right? This is my available data store. If I want to create any virtual machines or if I want to run any virtual machines, I can run the virtual machines in this data store. But this is not good enough or we can add the secondary data store we'll see how to add the secondary data storage later on right we can go and add the data store here right so um, that's host machine and if you want to do check informations we can check the information here lockdown mode is for any maintenance so if you want to do any maintenance we can too so you can click into maintenance mode and then we can put into lockdown mode as well so no changes here we have the permissions for different users i got an administrator user but you can create multiple users here so if you go here into permissions you can add a user right you can say what permissions they need to have and which services he should have access to so we can create multiple users over there and of course we can see the network right this has got a virtual network right if you go into networking you can see there's a management network and there's a vm network so this management network is pretty much most of the time it's to manage your esxi server or host machine vm network is for your virtual machines to be attached right so there are different types of vlan right so we can we learn those things later on right so you can create multiple virtual switch right there are technically there is always two different types of port groups kernel port groups and standard port groups right the physical network adapter vm kernel network adapter right and then the firewall rules what is permitted what is denied here you can create multiple virtual switch as long as if you got a physical network adapters right in my case i got only one physical network adapter right this one so this is already attached to my virtual switch existing virtual switch you can see it's already attached right if you get your second virtual uh, physical switch interface if you have a network interface card you can create multiple virtual switch and you can manage it keep in mind these virtual switches doesn't need a spanning tree protocol even though there are multiple switches we can add there's not going to be any spanning tree problem or any loop issues because the way that VMware is configured uplinks or the yeah uh, uplinks are not going to uh, forward any broadcast messages or not going to broadcast forward the packets so VPDUs are not broadcast and forwarded so that it won't create the spanning tree it won't create the loop so we don't really need the spanning tree here in ESXi environment right 
um yeah uh, we will go into further details in the next video right i'll walk through a couple of more information and i'll show you in the next video how to create virtual machines using uh, emware esxi web interface so you can see this is my esxi right so it's already got a ip address if you want to go do some changes you can click f2 right it will ask you to enter the password right if you want to enable ping and other network services you can do it right if you go into here right network store services right you can change the password right and then you can configure manage network interface right so network adapters right and you can enable disable if you have multiple network adapters vlans here you can configure the ip addresses the dynamic ip static ip address dns if your company has got a dns you can put the dns then you have got other information such as like basic network information right so everything can be configured in the web interface at the same time you can enable the ssh as well so we can do remotely connected to this interface or the console uh, and then we can do the command line configurations as well so ssh is also available so you can remotely connect ssh and then you can do the configurations using command lines that's also possible right so that's pretty much about six points on it's a pretty straightforward installation there's nothing much to do it's a simple straightforward installation right and once it's installed go into the web interface enter the ip address you are in the uh, web interface that's it right thanks for watching um in a next video what i'll do i'll attach a data store separate data store and i'll show you how to create virtual machines and manage those virtual machines thanks for watching thank you to see more videos please do subscribe to face it net channel and i'll keep on updating more and more interesting videos thank you